up, Sammy here with the Giga Bay. Today we are going to take a look at the new Kugo G Booster Scooter. This beast goes up to 55 kilometers per hour and has a range of 85 kilometers on a single charge. It also has a two 800 watt motors to get you through all types of terrain. Let's take a look! First things first, let's unbox it. I gotta say the box is pretty heavy, weighing 38 kilograms in total, and for the scooter itself, it weighs 30 kilograms. Inside the box, you will find a manual, a foam bracket, a screwdriver, a bell that produces pretty clear sound, and of course, a charger. While we are struggling to get the scooter out, we see a tube and a detachable seat in the package as well. That's all for what's in the box. Now move to the scooter. Get rid of the foam protection first. Unfold it. Screw tight the screws on the front handlebar. Don't forget to install the bell, by the way. Well, for the seat, you can choose either to install or not, depending on how you like to commute. Lastly, correct the position of the two lights. Otherwise, that should ride into the sky instead of lighting the load. Done. Now you're ready to go. But before that, let's go over the design. Starting from the bottom, the Kugoji Booster features two 10-inch pneumatic tires. That means they can easily absorb bumps in the road and give you a stable and a smooth riding experience. What's better, both tires are equipped with disc and electronic brakes, which will make you ride even more secure. Taking a look at the deck, we see that's lined with extra tactile grip tape. On the front, we see the folding mechanism, which is so simple. Just screw it in tight. It has two 10 watt lights that are really bright. Don't stare directly at them. You'll also find two more lights located at the front of the deck. Of course, it comes with the rear red tail lights as well, which will make you more visible to other vehicles at night. Finally, onto the handlebar. Two hand brakes, two physical buttons. The yellow one is for the lights. It has three modes, bright, less bright, and flickering. The red one is for you to switch between dual motor and a single motor. Press down, switch to dual motor power. Press up to engage just one motor to cut the power in half. This power limit feature helps you dial in the appropriate amount of power for the situation. Thumbs up for that. Then there is the LCD panel. On the side, it has three physical keys, up, power key, and down key. The panel shows battery, speed, voltage, and speed modes. Mode one gets you up to around 20 km per hour. Mode two bumps up to 40 km per hour and mode 3 gets all the way up to 55 km per hour on flat ground. The overall build quality is legit. The polished shell, sleek color matching, the premium metal structure engineered for strength and speed. Definitely, the Jeep Booster is not something that just stuffs high power motors into a light and a small scooter frame. It's totally redesigned. The Jeep Booster is really heavy, but that's actually a good thing. It makes the riding feel more safe, solid, and stable three important factors for a high-speed scooter like this. The first time you use, make sure it's fully charged. It should take less than 10 hours. Get the scooter key out that comes with the package. Simply press the unlock button, then short press twice on the lighting echo button. You will hear beep. Long press the middle key on the SD panel. Last, press the throttle. There you go. But I gotta warn you, since two motors are so potent, don't full throttle it. It requires a gentle touch. Last but not least, its overall riding experience. Due to its overwhelming 800 watt dual motors and awesome suspension, it generates a pretty smooth and a stable ride on almost any terrain. From rugged, muddy mountain road to smooth city road, you name it. With the amazing torque the dual motors generate, you can climb almost any slope that would be impossible for most scooters. You can hit the berms and curbs like that and even there. Of course, I'm not suggesting you do so deliberately, but when you run into such dicey situations, this thing could scoot out of them. So the first time I saw Kugo Chibusa, I was like, holy smokes, that's too dangerous. Why would anyone need such high power for scooter? But well, after several months of riding, now I cannot live without it. One thing for sure, this G Booster isn't for everyone. It's heavier than most scooters, so it's not convenient if you are constantly folding it and storing it. If you want a lot of a scooter to help you on your commute, I suggest that the Kuga S1 or S1 Pro. They're loved by urban commuters around the world. Why do I like G Booster so much? Because when it's such high powerful motors, it opens up a lot of possibilities. 
Do you want to unleash your inner speed? Do you want to have extreme fun? The Chief Booster can do just that. Want to climb a road or cross the hills? That's no problem with the Chief Booster. Or do you just need some extra power to get out of sticky situations where you are commuting? If so, the Chief Booster is perfect for you. Whether you want a scooter for recreation or for riding, or to use as a legit on road commuter, the Chief Booster is designed to handle it. You are going to love the stable, smooth, and safe riding experience on it. That's all for the Google G Booster review. I hope you enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed riding it. If you are considering to get one of these scooters, links are in the description. I'm Sunny. See you next time.